This is what it's like to live on an Antarctic research vessel. I am Sofia Murcinho, a science journalist. Last November, I joined 35 scientists on this huge research icebreaker. We left from southern Chile and then traveled to the Amazon Sea off the coast of West Antarctica, where we stayed for two months. The researchers planned to study how the fast-melting glaciers and sea ice of the South Pole are affecting the chemistry of our oceans and the planet's climate. Accommodations were simple. We all shared small rooms with tiny bunk beds. Storage space was limited, but people found place to stash snacks for the long journey. We had breakfast, lunch, dinner and a midnight meal every day at the mess hall. On our way, we sometimes faced rough seas. But to recover and relax, we could watch movies in the video room or read in the library. The scientists loved doing crosswords too. But most of the time, researchers worked around the clock. Sometimes they were out bracing the harsh weather, collecting seawater on the deck. Other times they were inside what they called a bubble, a lab with a plastic ball. We also got to eat in the spectacular landscapes of Antarctica. In the summer, the sun never sets, and there is plenty of time to admire the frozen seas and the icebergs. Some are so massive that it's impossible to see their beginning and end. There was also so much wildlife around, especially penguins. Penguins and more penguins. Unfortunately, this whole ecosystem is under threat from climate change. Stay tuned for the next part, where we'll show you more about the science we did aboard to answer questions about how climate change is reshaping this region.